HIV AIDS, the scourge of Zimbabwe for the last three decades, could have its impact drastically minimized if clinical trials underway here succeed. There have been no shortage of disappointments in the race to find a cure or vaccine, but now the collaborative research program thinks it may be on to a winner. The exciting thing is that the current trial, which has just been completed last month, called Aspire, which is using a ring uh, with an antiretroviral drug called Depivirin, uh, that's, that's promising, but we will not have the results until early next year. And we're extremely um, um, uh, hopeful that those results will be positive for protection of HIV uh, infection among uh, women. More than 2,600 women in Zimbabwe, South Africa and Uganda have been part of a trial group using the ring which is replaced every 28 days over the past two years. If that shows uh, a positive result, it's a much, much de better delivery system than taking an oral drug every day for uninfected individuals because adherence to daily drugs is not easy. Zimbabwe has done well in rolling out antiretroviral therapy but persistent use of ARVs has given rise in some cases to other chronic infections like cancer. And that makes the need to come up with a vaccine or alternative therapies more crucial. Apart from the ring, intramuscular injections that work for up to 28 weeks are also being tested to come up with the next line of treatment. You need a toolbox where the con somebody can choose a condom, Someone can choose uh, uh, a ring, someone can choose an intramuscular, and now we are moving on to research on the HIV vaccine as, as um, uh, a more you know, long-term cure because, I mean, I'm not cure, but prevention, because we know from the history of medicine that most of the virus infections have truly been eradicated or uh, ultimately controlled by a vaccine. But clinical trials have fueled fears that participants could be putting themselves at risk something that authorities here have refuted. We want to make sure that uh, that research has gone through uh, you know, proper phases of uh, testing. We're looking at uh, um, research within the lab, research in animals, and then now moving over to phase one, that is uh, a small group of uh, human beings. It might be eight, 10, or 20. And then we move over to phase two, where we're looking at hundreds. And then we move over to phase three, we are now looking at thousands. So for Zimbabwe, you usually participate in phase three uh, trials. This war against HIV AIDS requires painstaking and complex work. And the results may not be realized overnight. So it's clearly a protracted battle. But those working away in the trenches remain hopeful that it is a battle that they will win and achieve the victory they've sought for more than two decades now. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV. Harare, Zimbabwe.